In this video, we're going to look at Hess's Law cycles that use standard enthalpy changes of formation to calculate a value for an enthalpy change for a reaction. So we'll go straight into a question. So we're going to use the enthalpy change of formation values to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction here. And that's the reaction between two moles of SO2 gas and one mole of O2 gas to form two moles of SO3 liquid. And because these cycles are based on enthalpy changes of formation, if we remember the definition for enthalpy change of formation, it's the enthalpy change when one mole of a substance is formed from its elements under standard conditions. I'm going to just put a box here and write the word elements in there. So let's have a look at the cycle now. So to form two moles of SO2 from elements, so we can connect the elements box with the two SO2s, that's going to have an enthalpy change of 2 times minus 297 kilojoules per mole. So remember this value here is per mole. We've got two moles here, so that's why we need that 2 there. And oxygen is an element Enthalpy change of formation of all elements is zero because if you, which element would you form O2 from? You'd form it from O2, so there's absolutely no change, of course. So the enthalpy change of formation of elements is zero. We'll connect the elements box to the SO3 now, the two SO3s. So there's the value for the formation of one SO3. So that's going to obviously be two times minus 441 kilojoules per mole. So we'll have a look at the two roots now. So we uh, basically we're, we're looking at Hess's law now. So the common starting point is the elements box. So and there's the finish point if you like. So we, we can go from elements to two SO3s. So basically we would have to form two SO2s and that has an enthalpy change of this amount here and then react that with the O2 that would have this unknown enthalpy change value and so this root here we'll call that root 1 would be this value plus this unknown value. The other root that we've got in the cycle is obviously going directly from the elements to those two SO3s so we call that root 2. We'll put the numbers in now, so that 2 times minus 297 plus the unknown value equals the value for root 2, so that's going to be 2 times minus 441. And obviously we want that on its own, so delta H unknown equals 2 times minus 441 I'm going to bring that over to this side so it becomes minus 2 times minus 297. And that gives us a value of minus 288 kilojoules per mole for this unknown value. So we'll have a look at a little bit closer detail what we've actually done here in the cycle. This minus 441 was to do with the sulfur trioxide. And that was a product, it was the only product in the reaction that we're trying to find the enthalpy change for. So essentially this here, this term here, is the sum of the enthalpy changes of formation of the products. And from that we've subtracted the sum of the enthalpy change of formation of the reactants. So that minus 297 was to do with SO2 and it was a reactant in this equation. So we'll look at one more. So I'll start with the elements box at the bottom there because these are using formations. So to form two moles of water from elements would be 2 times minus 286 
kilojoules per mole to form four moles of NO2 as the value for one. So that is four times 33 kilojoules per mole. Oxygen's an element, so it has a zero enthalpy change of formation. And to form four moles of HNO3 would be four times minus 174. Let's establish the roots. So elements. So essentially we'd form two waters, four NO2s, and then combine them with oxygen and form four HNO3s. So the root would be all of those. We'll call that root one. Root two, the simpler root, would just be that there. And applying Hess's law now, so we've got 2 times minus 286 plus 4 times 33 plus the unknown value equals 4 times minus 174. And then we want that on its own. Delta H question mark equals, so that stays as it is. 4 times minus 174 minus all of that. So I'm going to put that in a bigger bracket now. So 2 times minus 286 plus 4 times 33. And then we'll just work that out now. And that comes out as an answer of minus 256 kilojoules per mole. And yet again, you can see this minus 174 is to do with the nitric acid, the HNO3. That was the product. So this is the sum of the enthalpy change of formation of the products minus the sum of the enthalpy changes of formation of the reactants. Minus 286 is to do with the water. So that was a reactant. The 33 is to do with the NO2. And again, that was a reactant. So you can see the formula is the enthalpy change of the reaction using formation is the sum of the enthalpy of formation of the product minus the sum of the enthalpy change of formation of reactants. And that's the opposite way around to when you use enthalpy changes of combustions. Using delta HF, it's P minus R.